heard almost three hours of testimony today, almost all of it from business owners. Today's hearing marked the first time a bill to allow grocery and convenience stores to sell cold beer has ever been discussed in the Senate. But the vote doesn't come as a surprise. Two powerful lobby groups who for years have testified against each other on proposed changes to the state's alcohol laws struck a deal ahead of the session. They let lawmakers know they'd support a bill allowing Sunday sales, but they would oppose any changes to who can sell cold beer. The owners of packaged liquor stores who can sell cold beer say changes would put them out of business. Convenience store owners say they'd be willing to pay more in fees for the ability to sell cold beer. I want what my consumers want, and my consumers want cold beer because they're here, they're using a free ATM in our particular instance. They're getting gasoline. If they're a smoker, they're getting smokes. If they're getting food, they're getting food from us. They want one spot to stop. We requested an on-camera interview with the organization representing liquor stores for reaction to the vote. We received a statement reading in part, the Indiana Association of Beverage Retailers applauds the Senate Public Policy Committee for rightly rejecting the misguided expansion of the sale of cold beer for carryout. And the vote against the cold beer bill comes as now committees in both the House and Senate have approved the proposal to allow the sale of alcohol on Sundays. That being significant in that it's made at that bar far in both chambers. Both chambers could take a vote in the next couple of weeks. Reporting live tonight, Katie Hines, RTV6.